Hello everyone, today is October 22nd, 2019, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. Okay, so before I begin, um, I would like to share some gifts that I have received from a subscriber. His name is Anthony, and one of uh, the gifts that he had sent um, is this beautiful deck, okay? And this is called Gui uh, Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards, okay? And this is from Doreen of Virtue. And this is such a wonderful gift, you know, um, you know, talking about the divine feminines and their energy. So, um, I really love this, um, uh, deck. So thank you, Anthony, for, for gifting this to me. And also, I have received uh, a few, uh, things here. Um, first, uh, is a card. Um, that he had sent and I would like to share it with all of you on the channel because this is such a beautiful message um, that he had sent okay so it says you mean so much not only for being the warm-hearted person you are but also for the generous way you share your time and talents with others thank you and then he says, Hey, beautiful butterfly, thank you for all your light work, sharing your inside heart gifts and journey with the collective. Words and praise are not enough to honor your sweet spirit. You provide healing daily to those who are truly heartbroken and damaged in the soul. Your smile, positive vibes, sweet spirit, and laughter have been more than a heaven send. Thank you wholeheartedly for all you do, just being you and such a blessing. Aww, <laughs> that is so sweet. So I uh, thank you, Anthony, uh, for taking the time uh, to express uh, your uh, your warm-hearted thoughts, okay? It really means a lot to me. And also, he had uh, written um, a four-page letter. <laughs> You know, expressing how um, how I was truly helpful in his twin flame journey, and you know, thank you so much, Anthony, um, for expressing um, your gratitude uh, towards me. It really means uh, a lot, okay. And knowing that you know, I am helpful to each and every one of you on an individual basis. And then finally, um, he had gifted me uh, this beautiful bracelet <laughs> so you know thank you again Anthony for your beautiful gifts um, you know like I really do appreciate everything you know that you do for me and for this channel and you know I really hope that you know my daily uh, messages are really helpful you know at least that was my intention when I started this channel I never uh, really meant to um, I don't know. I didn't know what, what to expect when I created this channel, you know. I just wanted to put myself out there to help other people um, who were going through these difficulties and, you know, and I see that, you know, my light is shining and so thank you again uh, for allowing me to share my spiritual gifts with the collective and, um, you know, and just helping, uh, you know, each other navigating uh, through this uh, really rough journey because um you know it is hurtful you know and we just have to be strong and stick together okay so so thank you again anthony for these uh beautiful gifts so i'll be using um this oracle deck in today's reading the other thing i wanted to mention um is that i have actually purchased a, another deck <laughs> and um this one is called the archetype cards by Carolyn Miss okay 
I absolutely love the messages in here because it's like truth bombs, okay? We all can't be love and light, okay? Uh, we're not perfect. And so uh, what the archetypes uh, really point out is like, you know, the, the light and dark attributes, um, you know, of our individuality. And so um, I really like um, the messages uh, that are in this particular uh, deck and I'll be reading it in reverse if it comes up in reverse. So. Let me go ahead and get started. So first, I like to see what is the overall energy of the Divine and Masculine Collective? And what is the overall energy of the Divine and Feminine Collective? And then what is the overall energy of this Masculine towards their Feminine? And what is the overall energy of this feminine towards the divine and masculine? Okay, so let's find out. What is the overall energy, please, spirit, for this divine collection? Divine Masculines, we have here Monk and Nun, selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to spirit. So this is really beautiful, guys. What I'm feeling is that Divine Masculines overall uh, are, you know, going through their spiritual awakening from what I can feel. And um, they're being really uh, selfless in devotion and their dedication to this journey, okay? Whether this masculine knows this or not, from what I can feel. And that's really beautiful. I feel like masculines, you know, in this collective are awakening uh, to the spiritual ascension and also this connection with their divine counterpart. And that is really beautiful. And uh, their energy towards their feminine is alchemist, but it's in the reverse, okay? <clears throat> misuse of power and knowledge that come through spiritual practice oh my god so like overall this masculine has become awakened to this connection and to themselves from what i can feel but when it comes to the feminine they're misusing their power and knowledge that come through their spirituality okay so i really feel like this is almost a form of manipulation this masculine knows that they're spiritual but when it comes to their feminine you know i feel like you know they're either not acknowledging the spiritual connection from what i can feel but they feel it okay that that is what i'm feeling so far coming from this masculine collective so feminines we have here bully oh my god <laughs> highlights your tendency to intimidate others helps you confront the interferes that bully you wow so you know what i'm getting with this is that feminines you have a tendency to in intimidate others so i feel like because of your spiritual awareness and your practice you know possibly you know you're trying to preach okay or trying to enforce other people of your ideals or your spiritual beliefs about this twin flame journey possibly to the divine masculine and i really feel like the reason that's the reason why this masculine is the alchemist in reverse even though the, this masculine feels a spiritual connection with you they're not acknowledging it and i feel like feminine is because you're bullying your masculine to believing in this twin flame connection okay whether or not uh you had expressed um the title masculine you're my twin flying so you have no choice in the matter <laughs> you know something like that that's what it feels like right so that's what i'm seeing <clears throat> and uh also we have here saboteur okay and it came up in reverse induces self-destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others oh my god 
feminines, okay? You know, what I'm feeling is that when it comes to your masculine, I feel like, you know, you're really undermining, you know, your your masculine spiritual gifts, okay? Like, I feel like you're, you're demeaning them, you know, not really seeing uh, that, you know, your masculine is practicing their spirituality, from what I can feel. This masculine is spiritual, okay? It's just that, you know, they're trying to be controlling of the situation, you know, and, you know, not really, uh, you know, accepting or expressing to the feminines that they're aware of this connection. And I feel like uh, feminines, you're a saboteur towards your masculine. Because whatever behavior that you have towards your masculine, I feel like you undermine them, okay? And that is why, you know, there is like a, a slight little um, rift, okay, and, and the connection. And I really feel like, you know, it's for, for those twins who are in separation and, you know, you guys aren't talking, okay? At least that's, that's what I'm feeling energetically. Both counterparts are, are spiritual. It's just, I feel like feminines, <clears throat> you're like bullying, you know, these ideals onto your masculine and saboteuring the, the connection with them by, you know, expressing your truth when your masculine knows the truth, but they're, you know, rejecting those ideas, okay? They're actually pushing you away, you know, or pushing the idea away of the spiritual connection. So that's what I'm seeing so far. So let me go ahead and see what is the underlying energy when it comes to this divine masculine and what is the underlying energy when it comes to this divine feminine spirit what is the underlying energy please for this divine collective Namatonia, sacred space, create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine, okay? So this is really beautiful. I feel like, you know, as this masculine is in this monk nun, um, you know, archetype, you know, they are actually making a sacred space for themselves, okay? And they could, uh, you know, your person might be uh, like a pastor, okay, or a preacher's boy, or, you know, someone, um, you know, who is in uh, to church, from I can feel, you know, if your masculine isn't, you know, um, any kind of, uh, you know, um, like Asian, um, you know, religion or culture, you know, such as Buddhism or Taoism or any kind of like, you um, you know, Eastern, um, you know, uh, religions from I can feel, you know, even if you're not like, if you're Hindu or, uh, you know, Jewish or, or whatever the case may be, I feel like your masculine has some tie with the spiritual, uh, ality by their upbringing or what they actually are. And they're making a sacred space, you know, either through their mind okay or an actual physical place and they are actually connecting with the divine spirit that is what i'm seeing so feminines if you are denying okay or not uh you know feeling that your masculine is spiritual oh my goodness they are and i feel like they might be more spiritual than you are because i feel like you know you're being a bully you know towards your masculine your masculine is like a, a high priest that's what I'm feeling. And, you know, I feel like, you know, by your judgments against your masculine, by not practicing their spirituality, I feel like, you know, you're sabotaging, you know, the connection by not um, really uh, seeing uh, the actions of your masculine practicing this. Okay. That is what I'm feeling so far. And also, we have your white Tara sensitivity. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. All right. And this is really beautiful. You know, when it comes to this feminine, you know, I see that 
you know, the misuse of power and knowledge that come through spiritual practice, you know, I feel that they they're becoming sensitive to this connection they know what this is they know that you know the karmic situations that they have been involved in wasn't uh you know the best okay and that is why they're super defensive when it comes to a relationship especially a spiritual one okay and um they're just avoiding any kind of harsh relationships uh, anything in their physical environment or situations or even uh, toxins like um, alcohol or inducing things um, that are not healthy to them. This could be, uh, you know, like uh, man-made uh, medicines in the pharmaceutical industry, you know, uh, trying to just be more holistic from what I can feel. They're really super sensitive right now, feminines, okay? That is what I'm seeing. So feminines, if you are in this archetype of this bully and a saboteur, you really need to check yourself, okay? Like, you know, you know, just just stand your ground, but you don't have to be uh, like a big voice, okay? Uh, and communicating this towards your masculine or having negative thoughts that your masculine isn't doing the work because I definitely see it and it's stronger on their side than it is on yours, okay? That is what I'm seeing. So, feminines, we have here Aruaka, okay, blossoming. You're just getting started, so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. Exactly. You know, I really feel like, you know, if you intimidate your masculine, okay, and um, what, what I see that you need to confront your inner fears, okay, that bully you. Okay, and you need to blossom and open up and have patience with yourself. Again, feminine's key word is patience. Okay, and you know, it's asking you to, you know, just be patient with yourself and don't give up. Okay, I feel like you have some inner fears about yourself, feminines, that you're not aware of. And, you know, you can do some meditation to really reflect on what that is, okay? So that uh, you can get out of it. So that's what I'm seeing so far. And then also, we have a Guinevere, true love, the romantic stirrings of your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So this is really beautiful. Feminines, you know, you need to uh, work on this saboteur archetype, okay? Self-destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others, you need to get rid of that energy so that you can invite true love into your uh, physical reality. Okay, because, you know, I know that you love your masculine and the universe will deliver this great love to you, but only if, you know, you release your self-destructive uh, behavior, okay, and, you know, undermining, <clears throat> undermining your masculine, okay, that is what I'm seeing so far, so let me go ahead and see. How does this masculine currently feel towards their feminine, okay? And feminines, how do you currently feel towards your masculine? How does this masculine currently feel towards their feminine? And feminines, how do you feel towards your masculine? Freedom. You're releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. You know, I really feel like, you know, with this masculine being more aware of their spiritual gifts and having a sacred space and holding space for their feminines, okay, because I feel like their intuition is starting to open about this connection. I feel like, you know, they're feeling a sense of freedom. That is what I'm feeling, you know, and to be more open towards the connection. So honestly, guys, you know, I really feel like, you know, both masculines and feminines, 
you know, your energies are a little bit different. You know, masculines is really open up to their spiritual gifts and their spirituality from what I can see in feminines. I feel like you're blocked off, you know, you know, and I feel like it, it's because of, you know, your thoughts, okay, and what you, you perceive and what you feel that should happen. You have to release, okay, and be, you know, uh, this freedom, like this masculine is embodying. I feel like now this masculine is not being too constrictive about their ideals, about their spirituality, and about the connection with their feminine. They're slowly open, opening up. You know, I do see that this masculine knows, okay, about this connection, but because the feminines is like either forcing these ideas or you know being too demanding you know for i can feel this masculine is resistant to that but because they're they're really super sensitive right now okay friends this masculine wants to practice their freedom and i really feel that because like if this masculine was stuck in a karmic situation they were stuck and trapped okay they felt like they were uh stuck and they want to be free. They want to practice, you know, their their freedom for I can feel. And love is free, guys, okay? Love, true love is unconditional love. Love without conditions, okay? So, so try not to cling or grasp uh, on the physical, you know, connection with your masculine because you're always with them in the 5D okay and i feel like this masculine is, is is coming to awareness of that and i honestly i feel like they are aware but the feminines you know i feel that you know you want the physical reality you want the physical togetherness with your masculine but just know that you you guys are interconnected okay i know it's very hard because you know we have uh, different senses you know taste touch feel uh, you know seeing and smell something like that and you know you know we can't help but to you know um, crave you know some of those uh, stimuli you know uh, from what I can feel but you know this masculine you know is spiritual guys okay just just know that don't undermine your masculine and think that they're not spiritual because I really feel like they're more than than you you think they they are okay that's what I'm feeling and here we have release you have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe okay so that's what i'm saying you know this masculine is letting go of things that are no longer serving them you know and i see that they're they're becoming sensitive to harsh relationships and environments and situations so feminines okay if you are you know like being harsh towards your masculine your masculine it isn't going to you know like open their arms and be like oh you know i love that about you oh no <laughs> more than anything they're gonna go, you know run away from it okay so if you are in that energy of clinging of, of placing ideas or, or making judgments against your masculine you're you're demeaning them you're belittling them you're making them less than what they are and there's so much more than that okay so don't do that feminines because that that's what the karmic does the karmics um you know they have belittled them they have put them down okay you know your masculine doesn't need more of that energy okay you should practice your your light you know and your positive thinking toward your masculine so you have to stay high vibrational okay feminines that is what i'm seeing and feminines we have here present you live in the present moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstance so stay present feminines okay that is what i'm seeing because you are blossoming you know i feel that you intimidate your masculine and possibly a lot of people around you because you're very powerful okay you know but you don't have to use like your words by force by instilling your ideas on onto everyone okay you know just be be it you know be you you know don't tell people what to do <laughs> that's what i'm feeling and if you're trying to tell someone what to do do it to yourself okay because you have inner fears that that is bullying you on the inside okay you need to work that out 
where I can feel and live in the present moment. Okay, live for today and um, bring forth love in your current circumstance. Okay, so if you want love today, okay, like, like manifest it, be open to love. Do not do anything that that pushes love away. Okay, so so just check your your energy feminines from I can feel, and and wake up and and do meditation, and you know be love and light, guys. You know I know it sounds hippie-ish, but you know, <laughs> guys, I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of a hippie, you know, like um, you know, with my Buddhist lineage, um, it's actually uh. You know the the temple is actually in Woodstock, you know, um, because I'm a part of the Karmakagyu lineage uh, in Tibetan Buddhism, and um, <laughs> you know, so like I get it, you know, um, peace, love, and happiness, man, you know, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> anyway, and also we have kindness. You are a humanitarian made of love and you're able to share that energy with others see this is this is what you need to be feminines be kind okay you're a humanitarian you're here to share your light with all sentient beings okay and i see that you can attract this true love from your masculine your masculine is super sensitive right now so you know the worst thing you can do is be you know overpowering okay and sabotage this connection by you know your neediness okay or having to have things in your way or no way okay do not do that let it be natural let it flow okay let your masculine feel free that that's the guidance that i have for you guys okay so i really feel like this is for for some of you who are actually in communication with your masculine okay if you're communicating with your masculine and you know things are still not you know uh you know pretty <laughs> from what i can feel you know you really need to check your energy and i realize okay like this um you know when i'm channeling for the divine masculines may not be what your masculine is portraying okay i get that they're probably still a jerk they're probably an asshole you know still like not being open you know to certain things but i really feel like deep down inside they really are and you have to be nurturing okay regardless of the situation i'm not saying you know be a doormat okay but what i'm saying is that your masculine has to feel free so that they can release their past because they're currently healing still at least that's that's the feeling that i'm getting okay so let me go ahead and get right into the tarot okay and see what is uh today's energy like for this divine a masculine and feminine collective so how is this masculine currently thinking about their feminine? How are they feeling? What is it that they want to do in the connection towards their feminine? What are the actions are they going to take? What is a challenge block or obstacle? And what is the outcome? We have your Eight of Pentacles. You know, your man's gone is busy working, okay? That is what I'm seeing. You know, this could be actual work. You know, today is uh, Tuesday here in the United States. So I feel like your masculine's focus is more on work. And, you know, but they could be working on a new love offer for what I can feel. So feminines, just be mindful of your energy towards your masculine. Okay, give them that freedom so that they can release anything that is not serving them. So that they can offer you a, like a new beginning. Okay, that is what I'm seeing. 
and here we have the emperor your mask wants to take control of the situation like i said do not belittle them do not judge them okay like you know love them anyways you know make your mask on be the mask on they're supposed to be okay and feminines try not to be more masculine than than your masculine you know be more feminine you still have the masculine attribute within yourself so does the masculine the masculine has feminine attributes within themselves but there has to be a balance okay like yin yang and you know i really feel like feminines you know you're you're operating more in your masculinity from what i can feel and um you have to let your your masculine lead okay i know that you have been the leader and and shining the light you know and helping your masculine energetically to pull out of the situation and helping them heal from their past wounds and, and showing them you know the things that they need to work on but i feel like you know feminines take a step back okay and be more feminine because i feel like this masculine wants to step up and be the emperor okay they want to take care of you they want to you know be a leader they want to show you you know that they are the spiritual counterpart you know of yourself okay let them show you from i can feel and here we have five of cups your masculine is really sad and disappointed and i have a feeling you know it's because of their past choices and actions and they are reflecting on it okay feminines you know they're not really happy about the third party situations that they've been in and they know that this love was always there the spiritual love like i said okay this masculine is spiritual okay whether or not they emulate that or not okay feminines and i know you know you guys are like hmm you know whatever <laughs> but they really are okay all of us are if you're a twin flame you're spiritual okay point blank period okay it's just some are late bloomers okay and some try to hide you know run away from from their mission from i can feel but you know like this masculine was in there knowing the whole time about this connection but feminines because you know you are so demanding or instilling your ideals upon your masculine your masculine didn't like that they wanted to you know come to terms with that on their own and really show you from what i can feel and they're really sad and this masculine wants to offer you an apology okay they really do you know yes they you know they want to be controlling of the situation but that's a masculine there for you you know and they they really want to make it up okay that is the feeling that i'm getting and they definitely want to you know end at the old cycle so that they can have a new cycle and a new beginning with you feminines okay that is what i'm seeing so far so how is this masculine currently thinking about their feminine we have here death okay this masculine is changing okay transforming so they can have a new beginning with you feminines okay they want to release you know their past they want to release the old and that's what i'm seeing here okay they're super sensitive to like you know harsh relationships of the past okay and i've seen it here you know super sensitive you know crying over spilt milk okay more than anything right now they are working on offering this new beginning in love towards you okay friends that is what i'm seeing and you know they want a fresh start with you okay they want to release any kind of self-imposed uh, restrictions or perceived limitations through loving energy and being more open this masculine is changing to open up their heart so they can give that love to the feminine okay that is what i'm feeling and i know feminines that is what you've always been wanting okay but i feel like you know you you're like wanting it so much or demanding it that this masculine was closed off okay this has to feel natural you have to let go that that is what letting go is letting go and going with the flow okay that's what i'm feeling so how is this masculine currently feeling towards their feminine we have here page of pentacles this masculine definitely wants to come forward towards their feminine in the physical and give you an offer okay this could be like you know a gift this could be a message 
you know, this could be like a dinner. It could be, you know, a cup of coffee, whatever, whatever this gift is. I feel like this masculine wants to come towards you in the physical, okay? That is how they're feeling right now. So what is it that this masculine wants to do towards their feminine and the physical? We have tower. This masculine wants to bring down, you know, old things of the past. They want a brand new beginning, guys, okay? I kid you not. This masculine wants to release any unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe so you can invite new energies in because they realize that the past was holding them back. The past hurt, the past wounds. This masculine is spiritually awakened. Okay, they're spiritually awakened and they know who their feminine is, you know, and feminines, you just need to be patient. Okay, like how many times do I have to say this? <laughs> you have to be patient. You can't be obsessing over your masculine, pining away about, oh, when is my masculine going to contact me? You know, let it go. Okay, because your masculine will come when the time is right. If you if you're still in the energy of like, you know, just thinking about, oh, you know, like it's been so long, you know, when are they coming? You know, if you keep thinking that your masculine can feel that energetically and it's turning them off. Okay, that is what I'm saying. That's why your masculine here is the alchemist. Okay, they can manifest this, you know, if they wanted to or not. And, you know, transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom. Okay, you know, that, that could be this masculine's light attribute. But the dark attribute of what they're embodying in this now moment towards their feminine is misuse of the power and knowledge that come through spiritual practice. Okay, they know okay that you have told them or know that this is a spiritual connection okay and because they know this they are choosing to either keep their distance because they know that you know uh, this connection is too strong i mean they feel it too you know i see it they feel this this energy from i can see the feminines you have to let go okay i'm not saying let go of your masculine but let go or, or controlling the ideas in your minds about what reunion will be like okay or union you know if you've never met them in the physical from i can feel honestly guys the ones that are coming into union are the ones that have known their masculine for a long time i'm talking about more than a decade if you've been on this twin flame journey like in a like in the past year or two okay i don't think that union is going to happen to you all of a sudden and think that you are so far advanced you know amongst the other twins okay because i really feel like it's the one that has been in this twin flame journey for for a long time okay i have been on this journey i think about five or six years guys okay i've known my masculine i think six years ago okay but i really didn't get to know him until about four or five years ago okay so it's been a long time for me too guys all right so i already know <laughs> you know this isn't easy and it's been years for me personally okay but i know that there are twins out there who have known their divine counterpart for a very long time i mean longer than a couple of years i'm talking about decades okay so i just want to put that out there and if your your divine counterpart you know um hasn't been contacting you and, and you know um you know you've been on this twin flame journey for such a long time okay and you're not seeing any signs and synchronous uh, synchronicities of your masculine you know contacting you or things like that you know go ahead and book a reading with me okay and i can check into your energy and see where they're at because that person may or may not be your twin <clears throat> it could have been a soulmate okay now uh, i don't confirm or deny you know twin flame or soulmate connections but I can definitely check and see where they're at energetically with their energy towards you, okay? So I just want to put that out there because I don't want you, you know, to keep pining away over someone, okay, who is just a soulmate. You know, trust me, I've been there. I've had a soulmate connection. I want to say, what, 
12, 13, oh, I forget, 14 years ago. 14 years ago, I had a soulmate. It was a mind-blowing connection. I fell in love with the man, like, on the first day, okay? When, when I first met him, okay, I met my soulmate. Two days later, we go to the beach. We had the most beautiful time at the beach, like, we made love in the ocean. The moonlight was perfect. The temperature was perfect. It was beautiful, guys. I kid you not, it was like a fairy tale, okay? This, the whole scenery and, and um, you know, connection I have with my soulmate, okay, was more intense than my twin, okay? My twin, you know, um, I've always had a strong connection with my twin, but it was totally different totally different you know my soulmate was like a fairy tale okay it was it was that kind of a love you know attraction even the love making was out of this world okay so i get it a soulmate connection and a twin flame connection is totally different okay guys like for years i could not get over my soulmate it took me i want to say 10 years to get over him okay he had his chance you know so what happened with my soulmate guess what happened guys okay and that's why you know i felt like he was a catalyst for for me meeting my twin my soulmate okay fell in love with me he he divorced his wife and guess what he did he went to iraq okay because he was in the military went to iraq and came back on his two-week r and r okay and and the first week you know he came and visited me you know and he kept telling me that you know um he want he he wanted to marry me okay he wanted to marry me and all this and that and the following week was his daughter's birthday and so he he spent the next week with his daughter and guess what happened guys he came back a married man my uh, my soulmate married his ex-wife again can you believe that and that devastated me how could someone okay tell me that he loved me and wanted to marry me and come back a married man do you know how fucked up that shit is that messed me up for years guys it was so fucked up guys i kid you not it took me three years to get over that three years and so guess what happened you know and he told me he says I was in love with you but I love my wife because he had kids with her can you believe that I was willing to be open to you know you know combine our families together he was a great father he loves kids you know I have a thing for guys with three kids guys I kid you not if you don't have three kids, I, I don't like you. <laughs> That's what it seems like. I'm always attracted to men with three kids because my masculine has three kids, you know? And, um, you know, and like the ones with three kids, you know, even my masculine, you know, he is such a great father, guys. You know, I really admire him, you know, for being such a good father. You know, that was what one of the things I fell in love with him, you know, and you know, he was so proactive in the community, and he's he's like me, but a man me, you know. <laughs> and he he's really spiritual too. He doesn't really preach his spirituality as much, but when he spits it, oh my God, I'm drooling, because like his knowledge is so profound, you know. And I I notice a lot about him. I don't tell him this, but I notice so much about him and he is so amazing to me in my eyes okay but anyways i'm going off on tangent but yeah i know the difference between a soulmate and a twin flame connection okay it's totally different my my soulmate awakened me to you know my uh, you know my spiritual awakening but it wasn't until i met my twin where i learned about spirituality like for real real okay that is when I had my full awakening. My soulmate led me to my awakening, but I didn't awaken until I was with my masculine. So there's a big difference. 
you know that's what I'm saying so let me know okay moving on your masculine want to have a tire moment they want to release their past and start fresh they want to build a solid foundation with you divine feminines okay that is what I'm seeing and then what are the actions they're going to take we have the magician again your masculine wants to manifest you know a big change they they want to clear the slate they want something new they want something fresh from i can see like so far guys there's three major arcanas here okay death tower magician these are some big changes okay that this masculine is wanting to bring forth in this connection towards you so what is the obstacle or challenge in this masculine towards their feminine we have five of pentacles okay this is the challenge is to get out of this five of pentacles energy so again if you guys are in no communication okay i feel like your masculine wants to manifest a, a powerful new change okay they want to offer you something in the physical that is what i'm seeing and i see that they're working on it right now okay so that's really beautiful guys and then what can we expect in the near future from your masculine the devil okay what i'm feeling with this is that this masculine is wanting to release the toxic energy okay that is surrounding them any kind of codependencies okay any kind of addictions anything anything that is negative they want to release that's why the tower is here okay they want to wipe wipe everything clean for a new beginning so let me see i would like to pull a clarifier on this devil Bear, why is the devil card here please Bear, why is the devil card here why is the devil card here Please clarify the double. The double card here. Huh. All right. So yeah, in the bottom of the deck we have here a uh, four of swords. Okay. So what I'm feeling is that this masculine has been thinking about like this toxic energy. Okay, and wanting to get out of conflict. Okay, and being blocked or guarded you know because of you know being left out in the cold okay because of their devilish behaviors their toxicity okay they're releasing it they want to get out of it okay that is what i'm seeing because that is the block here that is a challenging block and it came up again uh in the future energy so this mask is going to actively work on releasing this this energy that is what I'm seeing. And that's really beautiful, guys. Okay, so your masculine is really working on the situation. Like, you know, they're no angel either. They're a fallen angel. <laughs> but they're changing, okay? You know, that's what I'm seeing. So feminines, you know, don't judge your masculine because you're you're not um, on the up and up because you are actually mirroring your masculine. Okay? Your masculine is mirroring you and you're mirroring your masculine. And both of you guys are you know um having some resistance from i can feel so just let go and release okay and trust in divine that you know they're going to lead you two together that is what i'm feeling so let me go ahead and pull some spirit oracle animal messages and see what is the spirit animal is this a uh, divine masculine body for today okay what spirit animal is the masculine in today and what spirit animal is the feminine in today what spirit animal is this masculine in today What is the spirit animal feminine in today?
Divine Masculine Antelope Spirit, life is speeding up. So this is really beautiful. I really feel like, you know, this masculine is ready to move forward, okay? So, you know, if you've been following me on my channel and seeing that masculine, you know, wants to choose their feminine and marry you, I really feel that, okay, feminines? You just have to release your reins, your, your perma grip a little bit, you know, and, and let divine, you know, work its magic. That is what I'm feeling, you know, and I feel like, you know, uh, that's coming in today's reading also, right? And then for feminines, squirrel spirit, huh? Believe in yourself. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> you know, so if you've been seeing squirrels, you know, feminines, you know, believe in yourself. And this is a number 57, which reduces to a 12. So that's a three. So two and three, there's a progression. Divine Masculines is making a choice to go towards their feminine. Feminines, I feel like you're going to work in this situation, but you have to believe in yourself and in this connection. So I would like to read from the book and see what these energies say. Okay. For Masculines. Life is speeding up. When antelope spirit rushes into your life, you're being reminded of the quickening of your personal evolution as a power co-creator. You're being told unequivocally that it's time to get moving, set your intentions, and take action towards making your dreams real. There is an intensity you can feel, and it's important to take advantage of this energy right now. If you have a plan for your career or financial abundance, now is the time to step it up. If you're asking about a relationship, just make that first move. Just know that the intentions that you have set in motion are coming together now at warp speed. Stay alert and keep up. Things are getting interesting when antelope spirit calls you to move quickly. This is so beautiful. You know, I feel like masculines are really ready to pursue their feminines, okay? So, you know... You know, and this is in terms of career, finance, or even relationships, okay? This masculine is being called to make that first move, which I've been channeling for the past month, right? You know, so they can approach their feminines. That is what I'm seeing. So here is the protection message. Do you feel how fast the world is changing? Like everything is moving at warp speed? It's hard to control desired outcomes or get fixed goals, uh because of the time you get there you will actually have moved beyond it now is the time to let go and enjoy the exhilarating ride as intentions you have set in motion and the past are coming into form with lightning speed your job is to stay the course even if the pace feels dizzying you may find that you will change your mind a half dozen times or more as you improve your offerings, and that is just fine. Make peace with the peace, for if you ride this quickening energy, you will solve challenges quickly and effortlessly instead of being bogged down. The best way to use this energy is to let go of worry and stay mindfully present as you continue to take action. Also, if something is not going to be in your best interest, no matter how badly you want it, Antelope will quickly remove it so you can move towards what is truly meant for you. If something is taken away, be grateful and keep moving. This is not the time to sit still but to brood deeply as you move forward with velocity. This is so beautiful and it confirms like what I've been channeling, you know, for the past few days. This masculine is making a decision to approach their feminine, whether that they accept it or not, or choose this or whatever. And I feel like this masculine did make a choice, okay? They know who their divine feminine is. You know, I see that, you know, they are being a little resistant, you know, to their feminine because they're misusing their power and knowledge that come through their spiritual practice, right? But, you know, there is a tower moment that is coming. You know, there's going to be a crumbling. Divine is going to step in and shake things up. Okay, and it's going to 
kind of like clear the path or the way of the things of the past and it's going to happen quickly okay that is what this tower moment is it's quick and I see that there is going to be some sort of manifestation okay to get out of this toxicity you know because it's no longer serving them and I feel like divine is going to help assist in your masculine to get rid of this energy okay stop being so defensive or blocked off okay if you've been ghosted that is what I'm feeling because I really feel like you know um, this masculine is feeling left out in the cold and you two feminines you guys need each other's energy from what I can feel you guys are meant to be together and you know whatever that this toxic energy is is no more okay and I really feel like you know yes that is the challenger block but the divine is going to step in and make it happen okay so feminines you have to believe in yourself that is what i'm saying believe in yourself okay and in the divine that all things are going to be working out in divine timing so just let go okay and and don't obsess over your masculine and just know that when your masculine is ready, because they're being called, okay, to make the first move, okay, it, the, the energy is speeding up. And I really feel like, you know, in the coming week, there's going to be another wave of twins who are going to be communicating with each other, especially if you guys have not been communicating, okay? Like I said, you know, this, this timeline, okay, for, for twins to coming in, you know, into communication is happening before, you know, the end of the year, okay? And if your mask will miss the boat, guess what? Divine Feminines, I feel like you're going to get blessed with a soulmate connection, okay? That is for you because your masculine uh, chose not to go on this spiritual journey with you, okay? They, they didn't want to do the work. And so they're just going to have to go through their karma, okay, for the rest of their life, from what I can feel. And that's going to be a long time because they're being called to work in their spiritual mission now, not 30 years from now, now, okay? Because time is of essence, okay? Everything was pre-orchestrated for this specific time for twins to come into union, okay? So that we can share our light change the template okay of how people are living on this planet for a better place okay i know it sounds hippie but you know that's what it is <laughs> all right so feminines number 57 believe in yourself okay you have accumulated wisdom and experience and are surrounded by all you need. An abundance of resources is available to you through the generosity of spirit and all your hard work. Squirrel spirit shows up when, you're need, um, when you need reminding that the acorns you have gathered and stowed away have enormous potential to grow. See, you know, Divine Feminines, you have been working on yourself and on this spiritual journey for such a long time because why you mastered the word patience. You are patience. Hell, if I have a baby, I'm going to name it Patience. <laughs> All right, so relax into the knowing there is always enough for you to have what it takes to co-create the reality that you want to experience through diligent preparation you have gained wisdom and strength how how much potential you have believe in yourself for spirit believes in you and wants you to know you have enough and you are enough doesn't that truth make you feel safe and secure it should for you have everything you need right now what have i been saying about divine feminines you are all that you need you are on this divine you know journey you are a divine being you are well equipped you know to take care of yourself you don't need to be codependent on your masculine that is why we are divine feminines okay because of the way that we are and you know we can really see that we're different from the rest of society okay where other people are really codependent or attached on other people you know for you know i guess emotional uh security you know i feel like you know the divine feminines you know that have been following me on this channel 
you have raised your vibration you have really worked on yourself okay you know how truly powerful you are from what i can feel and you know you are less codependent on your masculine okay or currently working on it you know and and you're there okay you feel self-sufficient okay to where you don't need to depend on anyone okay not even your masculine you know and if anything you're like you know in addition you know if you guys come in together you know it's like extra for what i can feel so but just know that your patience and planning is not going to go unrewarded because you know with all those acorns you know you have a lot of potential okay you can grow like thousands of acorn trees for all i know <laughs> All right, so the unpredictability of life can shake your confidence in yourself and your potential for handling the challenges that come your way. Does the thought of not having enough or being enough make you squirrely? <laughs> That's cute. Have you forgotten all your strengths, wisdom, and resources? You have come so far on your wits and creativity, making use of all your potential and all that spirit presents you to help you through life trying times. It's time to look back on your life and remember how your needs have always been met for the highest good, even in your most challenging times. Guys, remember that. If you have been down on your luck, okay, and you know, you didn't have enough money to pay for a bill, okay? We all been there, right? You're like, oh, you know, all these bills are coming in, you know, but, but we're in what? 2019, we're here today, we're still alive, we're still kicking, we still have a roof over our heads, you know, uh, we're surviving, you know? Um, life goes on, you know? So like, just know that all things like that are temporary, okay? It's temporary. And life loves you and so many treasures are hidden in plain sight, ready to be revealed when you most need them. So relax, relax, feminines. I feel like, you know, you're, you're like wanting to control things. I feel like you're more in the masculine energy. Okay. Squirrel Spirit wants you to know that you're poised and ready for whatever is coming next. So trust in yourself and trust that Spirit has your back. Trust in the Divine Feminine. How many times do I have to say this? Believe in yourself. Trust in the Divine. Divine is going to help work in your favor. You don't really have to do anything. You have done most of the work. Your masculine needs to step up and move forward. They're, they're this antelope spirit. They need to run, come rushing towards you. Okay. They're in awareness of their spiritual uh, spirituality from what I can see. And it's time for them to make this change. I feel like if this Divine doesn't step it up. The, the tower is going to come okay divine is going to orchestrate this tower for to push this masculine to go forward towards their feminine you don't have to do anything feminines okay just trust and believe in this connection okay so i really hope you enjoyed today's reading thank you all for all your comments your likes your shares and your subscribes and if you're new to my channel welcome i provide daily guidance messages here for the collective and if you'd like to book a personal reading you can reach me on my website it's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com and you can also follow me on ig at scorpio moon intuition i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time Bye bye